right on top billing. The latest Sun City extravaganza gets a glittering new pizzazz with a distinctly African theme. An exciting new production by Keith Anderson has opened at Sun City and top billing went behind the scenes of this African extravaganza. Ballet Tsatsi, People of the Sun, tells the tale of an ancient people who settled in the Valley of the Sun centuries ago. It's a splendid blend of dance, mime, acrobatics and circus beats set in the Lost City. This is one show that definitely entertains. wanted to become an African show for the overseas people to come to Sun City. They don't want to come and see a Las Vegas show, they want to see a, an African show. But we wanted to keep the Las Vegas glitz and spectacle about it. Although the story is based in Africa, the presentation was inspired by the fantastical acrobatic antics of the world famous Cirque du Soleil theatrical troupe. The difficulty has actually been to get a balance between the extravaganza type shows, the African folklore things and then also we've got a tremendous amount of acrobatics and circus in it so to balance all those has been a tremendous challenge the music was especially composed for the show and the totally original soundtrack transports the audience through a world of fantasy and magic we are feeding off the choreography the choreography is feeding off us what they hear we go down to rehearsals we watch a little bit we see what they've done, we don't like something, or they don't like something, and they say, this is, this is awful, change it. This is what a Zulu dance looks like. Actually take note, come here with a pen and pad and, and watch what happens. The music enhances and contributes to what's going on on stage. Taylor made to the second, but it also holds its own. It stands on its own as a unit. It is weird, this show. You know, it's not like step, step, so here you, you jump and roll in the floor and do all those crazy stuff. It took a year to develop the script and eight months to train the cast. Gymnastics expert Danny Hasbrook and circus specialist Mo Merer molded the talent. What we did was we got a bunch of equipment at Sun International Cape Town and building in Cape Town. And we put out auditions and adverts to let people know what we were doing. And there was uh, an open door scenario. Anybody could come, anyone could try out. And from that, we taught the people how to use the equipment first. And then we honed the skills of which some people actually already had uh, skills, like gymnasts, uh, circus acrobats. There are a couple of people that have never done anything like this in their lives before. It's off the street, uh, soccer players, cricket players that have just, you know, got the bug. They came, got involved, and they've never looked back. 40 students were trained, 20 made it to the show. The gymnasts were selected for strength and stamina. Your current gymnasts are too young and they cannot sustain themselves in a production like this. And so we got ex-gymnasts together and uh, started training them and bringing all the old skills that they had back. And then also it was very difficult because we didn't want pure gymnastic skills in the production. So we took the gymnasts and said to them, look, can you dance? Have you got dancing skills? Teach him dancing skills. Can you take a gymnastics move and, and make it look different? So it was quite exciting. Internationally renowned Sangoma and author Credo Mutwa advised Keith Anderson and Michael Lovegrove on which African legends to use. We really have a, a rather large storybook which we go into in great detail. And the storybook consists of each and every different scene, each different costume change, how long each sequence is going to be. And then you slowly, it's like putting a jigsaw puzzle together really, you know, just finding the right pieces at the right time and, and slowly building it. And the jigsaw puzzle came together with style and pizzazz. A celebrity first night audience was suitably impressed. The trapeze scene was obviously absolutely stupendous. I, I couldn't believe what those guys were doing. And it's just so nice to see, see so much young talent on the stage doing it. It was a um, whole world of, of movement and dance under uh, one roof. And for me, it was also quite nostalgic because I come from that world. It was absolutely gripping, quite riveting, and, and indeed a breathtaking experience. It was absolutely fascinating and fabulous. After seeing Circus du Soleil in Vegas, I had a lot of things to compare about the show. So in general, the show was really great. I think it's a marvelous show. I travel over, all over the world in my days.
I, never, I don't think I've ever seen a show like this. Well, I loved it. I haven't seen a show like that for, for years and years. You know, I'm from the circus. I've seen this for years and years and years. But you see Keith Anderson, who actually grew up in front of me. So he's, um, it was good, you know. It was absolutely top-notch. I think it is one of the best shows that this country's ever seen. And I think it's truly representative of what we're now living in South Africa. That's good enough for us. Peter, out of ten, how much would you give it? Nine and a half. No. Well, after all of that, the show is finally over. Pretty good one, eh? Balasatsi hopes to run for at least two years. I give it at least 